one way Wahili lying there on the shore You in the blue bikini What are you searching for? You came to Hawaii looking for fun And now that you're here you've got no place to run So you play all night and you sleep in the sun You're a one way Wahili One way Wahili You're just as good as the back. Better even. <laughs> you should see the view of the front view I just had. Oh, if a little wind would just come. Hey. Hmm. There's an old man down there, goofy looking guy with a beard. Let me have it. Come on, I was just giving you a look. Give him back. Now. All right already. There's enough there for the both of us. A pleasant dream here? Oh, no. It was only a daydream. I can start up again whenever I want to. You're Sweeney, aren't you? That's what they call me, yes. Could you do me a favor and fasten my bathing suit? Oh, yes, of course, yes. And you're supposed to be a real beachcomber. Oh, that's wild, you know. It really is. Well, I don't know how wild it is, but I must admit I meet many interesting and beautiful people. Oh, you're something else, you know. You really are. And what about you? Are you something else? You know, I'm Kit. Kit? Well, Catherine, actually. You lie in faith, for you are called plain Kate or Bonnie Kate, and sometimes Kate the Cursed, but the prettiest Kate in all Christendom. Taming of the shrew. Is that Shakespeare? Generally, yes. He an actor? Well, now, there was a time when I could get you an argument on that point in half the bars in San Francisco. <laughs> How long have you been on the island? For a couple of weeks. Where's your home? Oh, I live up there in that funny building. The one behind the shopping center. It looks like an army barracks or something. <laughs> well, I meant on the mainland. Oh, I don't have a home on the mainland. But your parents, I mean... Oh, sure, my parents have a home in Milwaukee. My mother lives with her husband. My father lives with his wife. And I live wherever I land. Wherever you land? You're a stewardess, then? Nope. Can you keep a secret? Well, about as good as any mortal can, yes. Well, you see, when I'm unhappy, I go into orbit. And I stay into orbit until I find a good landing place. See? Well, take this place, for example. I liked it, so I stayed. If I didn't like it, I wouldn't have stayed. When Hawaii gets to be a drag, last song. <laughs> then I go into orbit again and find another good landing place. Well, who knows? It could be Greenwich Village, San Francisco, Mexico, any place. Except Milwaukee. No. You promise you won't tell anybody my secret now. <laughs> I tell you, he's making out down there. She just kissed him. Kissed him? That dirty old man. So you didn't care for Dallas? In the summer? Are you serious? So anyway, I had enough for a one-way ticket. And yeah, now you're broke. Oh, not completely. I'll find a job or something. I've been around. 
different jobs and seen a lot of different places. People think I'm little miss know nothing, but they're wrong. I know a lot about a lot of things. Of course you do, kids. Well, I've enjoyed our talk very much, but the business left untended shall never prosper. Shakespeare? A sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm glad you stopped by. I dig you, you know, I really do. Well, thank you, my dear. I sort of dig you, too. <laughs> Gonna go out? Maybe later. Hey, uh, what the old man Swinney talk to you about? He's just being friendly. He feels sorry for girls who are left stranded on the beach. Well, it is nice to hear a human voice once in a while. Boy, another afternoon like this, and I'm gonna learn seagull. Down here, seagull! Wah! 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 Jeez. Hey, it's my day off. I gotta relax. The beach boy goes to the beach on his day off. Big deal. I never get to see you. What do you mean? We've been running around all the time since you got here. Oh, sure, at night, on my money. Really? You know, I've been broke. I wouldn't lie to you. I know the feeling. I'm just about there myself. Hey, tell you what. As soon as I dry up, let's go to Bart's for a beer, okay? Bye bye. Great. It'll be just like a date. We love you. Come on, Brandy. Drag it over here. In a minute. The creeps. For a lousy bottle of beer, they think they own you. Forget them. So, what's up, man? Well, because I'm in such a generous and forgiving mood, I'm going to give you two a night to remember. Hmm. Because tonight, at sundown, we're going to wail. I mean, we're really going to have a bash. Uh. Where? Where? At our place. Where else? Do you remember the last time you said, never again, or words to that effect? Oh, yeah, yeah, but that was because of those hot heads. Tonight's going to be a different crowd. When did you get this idea, Lou? Oh, about two hours ago, I was running some booze out to Palmer's Point. I looked up at the sky, and then out at the old ocean, and whammo, it hit me. How about it, baby? Would you like to go to the prom? Look. Hey, how about it now? Are you going to serve us or aren't you? Can I wear my long form of <laughs> Took you so long? The customers were entranced by me. They wouldn't let me go. The customers. <laughs> I saw you. Just talking to that deadbeat boyfriend of yours. He's a customer. Only because you pick his tab up out of your tip money. And I want you to go out there and wait on those tables, do you understand? And I'm tired of having to tell you this. What's the order? Four beers, one cool, and one orange. Four beers, one cola, and one orange. You got it. Big spenders. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, at them. And um, 
And that lifeguard, you know, the big hairy guy, what, uh, what's his name? Plays the Wild Bongos, uh, Thurman, Clyde, what is it? Terry. Terry, yeah, that's it. Well, I'll swing by and give him the word. How about Paula over there with a the new blonde? Hey, he's, you know, he's okay for a beach boy, and that, uh, that little chick is slightly terrific. Yeah, well, let's ask him. Hmm. Her, anyway. Well, I better be going, because Kwong will be out with his bloodhounds. Hey, you can give me a ride into town, okay? Cool. Brandy? Gotta go, baby. You think you can make it without me for the next few hours? I don't see how. I'm sure Bart can. He just gave me another blast. No, don't let him bug you. You are a beautiful, charming, and efficient waitress. Hmm. Say 6.30, okay? Okay. It's a long, sexy. Bye. Hello, Paul. How are things? All right, Chick. Hello? Hello? You guys met Kit? No, we haven't. Kit Williams. Hi, Kit. Hello, Kit. Hi. Hey, this guy's living in that beach house you like so much. Oh, really? Hey, I simply adore your house. I really do. Good. I'll have a gift wrapped and you can pick it up around sundown. No, what he means is we're having a party tonight. How about it? Hey, I like that. How about you? Oh, I'd just love to go to a party. Cool. We swing at sundown. We'll see you later. If you can pry yourself loose from uh, Joe Surfboard over there, I'd appreciate a dance later. That should be easy. What, to pry yourself loose or dance with me? Both. And don't forget, I want a tour of your house later on, too. Absolutely, madam, the $5 tour. Uh, don't forget to bring your camera. Right. Mm -hmm. the show and they're gonna dance for you now where else can you see a 550 floor show for free huh yeah.
ladies and gentlemen, concludes your tour. You'll find your souvenir booklet to the right as you pass out of the building. This is a wonderful house. Oh, I just knew it would be the first time I saw it. You know, from the outside. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Would you like to try some of the house beer? Oh, no, thanks. I think I'll wait a while. You sure? Well, maybe. But I'm not what you'd call a varsity drinker. Uh, well, uh, neither am I, actually. I just, I just drink to forget. Well, what is it you're trying to forget? chance Bart would hire me? I doubt it, knowing Bart. Why, because I'm not big enough? Uh, if you're big enough, you're just uh, not old enough. he could use your room? Hell no. Oh, that's what I thought. Come on, Alger. It was a nice try, and I'll get out. Yeah, you know better than that. Let's get out of here. The party's getting dull. Dull, dull, dull. What you see with a slightly different twist When the one way Wahidi does a bird Oh, when the one way Wahidi does a bird Oh, when the one way Wahidi does a bird Oh, that's a crazy thing You heard When the one way Wahidi does a bird Now flap your arms like a bird in fly You're hitting now, you're doing all right Oh, a great big smile is a final that's how the one way Wahidi does a bird Now this island's really swinging And the native boys are singing Cause the one way Wahidi does a bird Oh, it's the one way Wahidi does a bird Come on now and do the one way Wahidi bird That's the craziest thing you ever heard When the one way Wahidi does a bird Oh, when the one way Wahidi does a bird Yeah, when the one way
sorry, Sam. Thanks for the light. Go get here. Take this and hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. On the way, get Chicago papers. Chicago, what's wrong with those? You get Chicago papers. Two or three, what they got? At the big stand. Color, color. You know where? Yeah, yeah, sure. Better be a big tip for the newsboy. <laughs> are dead today because they didn't know enough about guns. Happened a lot during the war. You wouldn't believe how bad it was. I tried to enlist. You know that? Remember this guy in my squad. Comes to me just as we're moving out and he's scared, see? But he don't want anybody to know it's wrong. You know what it was? Couldn't get his gun to work. We're heading right for the whole German army. He's gonna have to use his gun like a club. Oh, jeez. What'd you do, eh? I fixed it. <laughs> his ejector was out of whack. If I didn't know guns real good, I'd never been able to fix it in time. Lucky for him, huh? Mm, might have saved his life. Who knows? Don't you know? Ah, uh, well, he had a chance to use it. He stepped on a mine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I see what you mean, eh? But I saved my neck lots of times by taking good care of my weapon. you got here? Yeah. Got a lot of class. And from the outside, you'd never expect it to look like this. Yeah, well, uh, that's why my associate maybe rented the place. I bet we got things in here you ain't never seen before. Here, come over here. Look. Come here. Oh, stand right there. Look this way. All right, ready? Get a load of this. How do you like that, huh? Just like something you'd see at the World's Fair, ain't it? Really wild. Come over here. I want to show you something else. All right. Now keep your eye on that. That's the way some people live. That's real water too. The guy that owns this place must really be wrong. <laughs> hey, you can do that over there. Oh, kid, you're all right. <laughs> That's for sure. Hey, you lived here all your life. Uh, no, no, only about a year. About a year, huh? I guess you really know your way around, huh? Oh, I don't know. Ah, uh, come on, a smart young guy like you. <laughs> don't take you long to learn the ropes. Uh, uh, what kind of ropes are you talking about? Oh, unless I'm fairly mistaken, which I doubt. You really know what the action is, don't you? You mean, uh, girl-type action? Can I spot him? Lou, he's a swinger. The minute he come in here, what's your name? Lou. Lou? I'm Charlie. Charlie? And that's Hugo. Ah, pleasure. You're a real winner, Lou. A real winner. I can tell. I'm not so sure you got the right boy. Oh, come on. A couple of girls for a little party. I bet you could fix it up just like that. Well, maybe, but uh, not quite like that. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, sure, sure, sure. But uh, you'll kind of check around, see what you can do, okay? Yeah, yeah, sure. You gonna sign for this? No, we pay cash. Hey, 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 I'm dry. How about you? Uh, dry. I'll go get some. Never mind. I'll go. Hey, kid, <laughs> you ever see one of these? No, no, what is it? That's an electric pink steering machine. How do you like them apples, huh? Yeah, it's pretty great. How's it work? Oh, it's got a battery in it and a motor, you know, like them electric toothbrushes. I got one of those, too. I bet you do. Let's see now, that's $72.29. We uh, round that off to 73 And how about the papers? A uh, quarter each, 75 cents. Round it off to a dollar. And that's for you. That's a tip, okay? Okay is right. Thanks a lot. Oh, thank gosh, you earned it. Yeah, that's right. You earned it, eh? <laughs> okay, have it your way. Hey, Lou. 
Uh, you'll let us know about the girls, huh? Sure, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> oh, uh, when do you want them? Any time. We're ready any time. Eh? Yeah, any time, hey. Okay, so long. So long. Hey, look. Uh, you know whose picture's on a hundred dollar bill? Damned if I know. It's old Ben Franklin. You know who's on a fifty? Um, uh, Jefferson? Nope. It's Grant. So? So, you find a couple of young ladies who are interested in having a good time, you tell them to get a souvenir to take home. A picture of old Ben Franklin. <laughs> souvenir, that's rich, eh? <laughs> okay, I'll tell them. By the way, what kind of work do you two guys do? kind of work, uh, well, we got more of a business. We run a collection agency. You know, collect money from people who don't pay the bills. Good business to be in, huh? Oh, yeah. You know, there are a lot of deadbeats in Chicago. Well, like every place else. You don't let me finish what I was trying to say. You arrange this thing for us, you get a souvenir. A picture of Grant. <laughs> get it? Got it. Good. robe you have there, that, uh, so nice and soft. You know about a job? I mean, uh, you heard about a job I could get. A job? Oh, yes. Um, there's this, uh, a friend of mine, he's, uh, has a daughter and she's getting married and she's going to quit. Well, when she quits, could I get a job? Oh, I'm, I'm sure of it. <laughs> Absolutely positive. <laughs> oh, that's great. Tell me more about it. Well, it's an office job, and uh, it's a nice place, and uh, and the pay's good. Well, that's wonderful. Um, do you think I could go see them? Maybe tomorrow? Tomorrow? Oh, uh, well, no, not that soon. Uh, she won't be getting married for a couple of months. <laughs> Maybe even longer. Oh, swell. <laughs> By that time, I'd probably starve to death. Or else I could get married. Well, um, people are a little more friendly. Uh, Maybe I could tide you over. Uh, I'd, I'd like to help you, Kit. Uh, don't you understand? Oh, I understand perfectly. But um, you'll have to excuse me, Mr. Maxwell. I I've got to get ready. Please, Kit, uh, call me Max. Take your hands off me. Mr. Maxwell, if you don't leave this instant, I'm going to call your wife. Oh, uh, I... I mean it. Can I just watch? I... This is Maxwell. Look, I'll just sit over there. I wouldn't. Maxwell. Please get. I. Did you just get up? Oh, come on, stop the clowning. I've got something fantastic. Not so loud, or I won't listen. All right, how about this? Is that better? Yeah, that's much better. Just keep it that way. How would you like to help me pick up $100,000 today? Well, did you hear me? Well, are you interested? You don't believe me. Well, it's true. I know where there's a hundred thousand dollars. 
I know where there is a hundred thousand dollars just begging to be picked up. Don't wait for me. Go pick it up. Look, this is serious, Chick. Look at this. Two bank clerks make off with a hundred grand, and nobody knows where they are. Now, nobody except me. Where's the West Side Bank? Diamond Head? No, stupid. Chicago. This is a Chicago paper. The money was stolen in Chicago. But now it's here, and I know where it is. Where? Hey, that's for special occasions. To me, my own funeral is a special occasion. Do you mind? Swing. But will you listen to me? Now, the money is in the Brown Beach House. You know, the one with the cement road marker. You know the, you know the place. Well, these two clerks, these two squares that just moved in here, are the guys that are in the paper. Did they tell you that? Well, no, but but everything fits. Would you mind? Here, give it to me. Now, get this. These two morons asked Kwong to send them the latest Chicago papers. A lot of tourists come from Chicago. Well, tourists, sure, but these two cats haven't been in the sun for five minutes. Now, tourists don't hide. Keep going. Point number two, they are loaded with cash, a dresser drawer full of it. You saw it. You opened the drawer. No, 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 but I heard one of them go to a dresser, and when he came back into the front room, he had a wad you wouldn't believe with, with this bank tape wrapped around it. What did he do that for? To pay for the booze and to give me a $10 tip. $10? $10 for a tip? And to pay cash for the order, $73. And get this, they offered to pay me $50 to fix them up with a couple of girls. $50? Whose picture's on the $50 bill? The... the what difference is that? Uh, they know. Hmm. And the same with the hundred. And they know who's on every bill that's ever been put out. And why? Because they've been working behind that old bank counter for so many years. You could be right. Could be. You should have seen the way they acted when I asked them what kind of work they did. You asked them? Huh? <laughs> sure. Sure, and one of them said they were in, oh, some sort of collection business. And the other guy damn near split his gut trying not to laugh out loud. Real phonies, huh? Oh, man, they don't come any phonier. So, I split back to the out-of-town newspaper stand and got the same Chicago paper I got for them. Smart. Mm -hmm. And what do you think I find here in a paper that's three days old? This. I'm telling you, everything matches. Too many things match for it to be a coincidence. That's all I've been trying to tell you. And that's stolen money they've got. I mean, they don't have any right to it. That's just what I was thinking. Besides, uh, it's funny, a little plan just came to me right out of the blue. Clue me in while I shave off this stuff. Oh, it's going to be a snap. These two cats have got to be the biggest pigeons that ever happened. Now, the way I... How far is it from here to that point out there where the trees are? Half, three quarters of a mile, maybe. But you can swim it. Well, I won't set any records, but I can make it. There won't be anyone on the beach at night. Even if there were, you could uh, stay in the water without being seen. I'm trying not to drown. And watching for the signal. Are you sure the girls can signal me from the house? Oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. Down below, you get a better look at the place. Now, over there, right by that tree, that's where I'll be with the car. When the girls come out, throw it into gear, pick them up, and we head for home. Yeah, you head for home while old dad's out there playing ferry boat with the loot. Now, why is it that I always get the easy parts? Well, but it's safe. Now, who's going to stop you out there and ask you where you got all that money? But if they stop us in the Jeep... Let's go down. I want to see more of that house. <laughs> I 
mean? You can't miss it, right? Uh, I guess you're... Hey. Guy just came out on the balcony. That looks like Hugo. Is he a big guy? Uh-huh. What a stupid look. Yeah, that's Hugo. You see what you mean? A real pigeon. Seen enough? Yeah. Hey, does George Amapa still work at the drugstore? Yeah, why? I think I'll give him a chance to pay back an old favor. Well, what can he do? Plenty. You know, I think we're gonna need old George's help. I have a hunch Brandy isn't gonna like this at all. You're damn right I don't like it. I am not a call girl, I am not a thief, and I am not gonna do it. But you are being evicted, you are out of work, and you are broke. And I'm not asking you to be a call girl or a thief. Oh, forget it. It's obvious cold logic just isn't gonna work. Oh, but doesn't it make you sick to see your plan shot down? How come you're not saying anything? I'm saying we should think of a new plan. The girls aren't gonna help. Let's just do it alone. Sure, but how? Kit's game. You're not afraid, are you, Kitten? I wouldn't be if Brandy was there. $25,000 a piece. Imagine. Just think of the things we could do with it. Each of us, if we went through with it. How about you, Kit? $25,000. Golly, that much money? Oh, I wouldn't know what to do with it. I mean, I wouldn't have any business ideas. I guess I'd save most of it till I got married. Yeah, that's what I'd do. I'd save it. Now, these tablets, you saw them work in medical school, and you wouldn't let them go if there was any risk, right? Well, the tablets work, Lou, but there's always a chance that something might go wrong. Right. And if something goes wrong, if those little pills don't work, what happens? Kit and I are stranded with two strange men. They think they bought us. They think they can do anything they want with us. Well, no thanks. No thanks for me, too. Well, I'll have to think of something else. There's got to be a better way. You think I'm acting like a schoolgirl, don't you? No. I just think you have very little faith in modern pharmacology. Are you a doctor? No. I almost got turned into one, though. Well, what happened? I did what my family expected me to. I was halfway through med school before it dawned on me that I didn't really want to be a doctor. But every man has to have a career of some sort. That's very true. And I'm planning to follow his career. Yes, sir. The field of the future. Beach it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Sweeney was asking about the empties from the party, so I invited him for a little drink. Oh, welcome to the pad, Sweeney. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a busy man, and this is a busy day, like, like all the rest. But I can't say no to my friends now, can I? No, sir. <laughs> what are you drinking, Sweeney? Oh, oh, anything. Anything will be just fine. Bourbon? Bourbon? Well, yes, indeed. A little bit of water. Gotcha. This is a high-class lounge, Sweeney. We mix them right before your eyes. Well, you shouldn't go to any bother like that, but we're old friends, aren't we? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Yeah. Thank you. To old friends. We've been talking about money. That's a good subject. Yes, it's almost as much, much fun as sex or politics. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what would you do if you suddenly got a lot of money? Yeah, say uh, $20,000, what would you do? Well, I'd wake up and find I was dreaming. <laughs> Well, there's one thing I'd do. I would open up a charge account at the place where you were. <laughs> That's what I'd do. That's the first thing I'd do. Uh, well, I guess one more won't hurt me. And you'd go right on being a beachcomber? If I didn't like my profession, do you think I would have stayed in it all these years? Of course you wouldn't. Huh? If it hadn't been for the war, who knows? I might have made it real big. Uh, I'm not going to stew over that. I don't need a lot of money. Just enough to get by on, that's all I want. And my beaches. 
and my friends. But thank you, thank you. To your health, my friends. To Sweeney, a great guy. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> After all, this isn't every day. Well, it'd be a shame to let a drink like this go flat. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, nobody likes a flat drink. Mm -hmm. Oh, you sure mix a... You sure mix a swell drink. You know... Uh, He'll nap for an hour or so. It won't hurt him a bit. It's amazing. So fast, Chick. Like I said, they work. How many of those do you have left? Two. Why? Save them. We'll need them tonight. Well, you're going to do it then? With those things, I go in a cage with a gorilla. <laughs> oh, boy, that means we're millionaires. Oh, my God. What did I tell you? Hey, come here, Lou. <laughs> what a guy. You know, after you left this afternoon, I said to my pal here, I said, this guy, Lou, will be back before the sun is down. I'll bet on it. Them's my exact words. Oh, yeah, them's his exact words, hey. <laughs> How about fixing a drink, huh? Ah, oh, good idea. Uh, maybe you won't like these two. Oh, come off it, Lou. You can pick them. You're a real winner, I can tell. Orders, gentlemen. What do you have, huh? No, I'll pass. Uh, I had a beer a couple of minutes ago. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. Come on, just a short one. No, thanks. Not now. Make mine booze and bubbles, okay? And booze and bubbles coming up. So, you got something in the works, eh? Yeah, I, uh, I sort of checked around, you know? For when? Tonight. How about this guy, huh? Yeah, how about him? <laughs> What's that? Well, now, first, I think maybe we ought to talk over the two I've got in mind. Oh, come on. If you buy them, we buy them. Don't worry. Hey, you ever seen one of these in somebody's house, I mean? Yeah, wild, man. You know, this guy that owns this place got everything. Well, now, maybe these two aren't exactly what you had in mind. What, a couple of dogs or something? No, no, no. They're terrific, both of them. It's just that, well, neither of them are actually, um, well, pros. Oh, well, what the hell? Who said they had to be pros? Yeah, nobody. Hey, you sure I can't fix you that? Yeah, I'm sure. You know what I'm going to have? A screwdriver. Ever had one? Yeah, they're good. I love them. All right, will you fix the drink, okay? Okay, okay. And these two girls, they aren't pros, so what are they? Well, there are a couple of one-way wahinis I've run in. One-way wah what? Well, it's a Hawaiian word. Hey, wahinis means girls, doesn't it? Right. You know, I saw wahinis on the door at the airport, and I started to go in there. Just as I was going in, this old battle axe comes out, gives me a look, stops me right in my tracks. <laughs> <laughs> wahinis means girls. All right already, all right. Okay, okay. One-way girls, huh? What kind is that? Well, they're girls that come to Hawaii on a one-way ticket. Oh, from all over, usually, uh, without any money or any plans or anything. The island's loaded with them. Uh -huh. In other words, what you're trying to say is, these two one-way girls, they never done this sort of thing before. Ah, right, right. Now, they're both looking for jobs. Oh, um, cocktail waitress, secretary, or anything they can find. But in the meantime, they're uh, running out of cash, and a hundred dollars would come in pretty handy. Yeah, well, uh, I'd personally be only too happy to help them out. <laughs> yeah, me too, eh? Uh, good view from here, huh? Yeah, it's very relaxing. Go on, take a look, kid. You two on a vacation, or what? Yeah, sort of. You know what? What? I bet you're both married. How'd you guess? Oh, you married guys always like to play around when you get the chance. <laughs> but you sure don't like to get caught, right? <laughs> You better believe it. Are these two girls the two that I was telling you about? Yeah. You don't have to worry. They won't talk. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, and you don't have to worry about them not being professional. We'll give them all the coaching they need. Yeah. Uh, well, you're going to party a while, aren't you? 
party? What do you mean? Well, you know, a few drinks, a few laughs, a party. Oh, sure, that's the whole idea. You know, we're kind of bored, not knowing anybody or nothing. We just want to have a little fun. Yeah, a little fun, eh? We're not going to be crude about it or nothing. Oh, oh, I know that. I know that. It's just that, well, they're apt to be a little shy at first. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. How about nine? Nine would be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, uh, poet! <laughs> How do you like the place? All the comforts of home. Yeah, it's homey, all right. You sure you don't mind? Of course not. I'm glad, really. I'll feel a lot safer now. Oh, that landlord. How are you fix the space? Oh, not too good. Oh, but you don't have too much. Oh, Brandy, I really didn't mean that the way it sounded. I know. Will your closet take what there is? Oh, sure. I'll empty some of the drawers. There's no problem. If we really do get the money tonight, what will you do, Brandy? Go to Europe with Chick. Are you in love with him? Yes. Do you think someday maybe that... No, I will never marry him. Are you sure? For two reasons. He'll probably never propose. And if he did, I'd have to turn him down. Why? I can't afford him. Oh, Chick will never have any money. And I can't marry a man that's poor. I tried that the first time. The next time I marry, it's going to be a man that I can afford. I wouldn't care how poor he was. If I loved him, really and truly, I'd marry him no matter what. I really would. There's nothing wrong with that. Say, uh, what would you do if Lou asked you to stay here with him? Oh, I don't think he... I don't know what I'd do. I mean, we just met and I hardly know him. Oh, he's wonderful and all that, but... Golly, I don't know what I'd do. Who's there? It's me, Max. I want to talk to you, both of you. Come in. Oh, I see I have a new tenant. Don't you think I should have been at least introduced? Oh, Mr. Maxwell, this is Brandy Sabatier. This, she's a very good friend of mine. Oh, I saw you helping her bring those things up here. <laughs> uh, this is a lovely building, Max. I've always wanted to meet the owner. The rent was for one person, not two, but one. And if your friend here thinks that... Really like my building? <laughs> I think it's lovely, Max. Well, I uh, did what I could around here, fixed up a few things. I think you did a good job. Uh, oh. Max. Oh, no, no. I've, I've been married for 30 years. No. Oh, yes, it's it's true. Uh, most people won't believe it, but I, I got a license to prove it. Well, you certainly don't show your age, you rascal, you. <laughs> well, you know, like they say, you uh, only are as old as you feel. <laughs> uh, there's something else they say. So nice to have a man around the house. <laughs> Especially a big, strong man <laughs> like you. <clears throat> See, I'd, I'd sure like to be your friend, Brandy. How nice. <clears throat> well, then you wouldn't mind taking my suitcase and putting it in the closet shelf, would you? For the suitcase? <laughs> well, not at all. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you so much, Max. You're such a dear. <laughs> now, you promise you won't stay away too long. Promise? Oh, I... I promise. Uh, <laughs> bye. Oh, bye. Bye.
working late tonight. How late? Think 11 or so, what? Might need some more stuff. Been a busy day for me, too. Lou? I thought it was your voice. Sweeney, uh, glad to see you. <laughs> well, if you need anything, just call. Wait a minute now, Lou. Come back here. What did you put in my drink this afternoon? Uh, put in your drink? Uh, well, uh, nothing. Uh, what did you expect me to put in it? Whatever it was, I wish old Skinflint there would start serving them. Get on. This young man makes the best damn drink I ever had. Yes, sir. Anytime, Sweeney. You're always welcome. You know that. Things around here are nothing but water. The real party's about to begin. You know, you're getting more G.I. every minute. Next thing you know, it'll be telling us to synchronize watches like the old war movies. Oh, look, Chick, we haven't got much time, and we've got to check this thing out, okay? Now, uh, where are the tablets? Right here. Uh-huh. Plastic bag? Right here in my purse. Uh, what's the signal for Chick when you've got the money? Turn the lights off and on in the front room. Now, where do you go when you get the signal? Well, I slip furtively under the balcony on the right side of the house. Uh, my right as I come out of the water. Where's the money? In the bedroom. In the dresser. Or any drawer. Oh, right. It could be in a nightstand or a dresser drawer. I don't know. Now, what do you do with the money when you've got it? I put it in the plastic bag. I go to the balcony, give it to Chick, and, and then we run up the road and you pick us up. That's it. Don't our little call girls look just great? Yeah, they really do. Those two guys are going to flip. You sure we have enough time to use those tablets? Oh, yeah, yeah. They're going to give a big party first, a real big bash. Lou, when do they pay call girls, before or after? Oh, well, uh, after, I guess. Why? I just was wondering. Let's go. I'm dying for a drink. OK, <laughs> let's go. You give me a good signal now. Don't worry, Paul Revere. You'll get a beauty. OK, Sergeant, take the Trojan horse to the enemy camp. The what? The Trojan horse. Well, don't you remember the Battle of Troy? It's, it's the same bit. See you later. Yes, sir. about them. Oh, yeah. So don't treat them like dirt. Treat them nice. The way you'd be to a girl you picked up in a bar someplace. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's them. Maybe. Let's not take any chances. Hugo, this is Brandy. 
And this is Kit. Uh, pleased to make the acquaintance. Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> Howdy. Hey, ain't I seen you someplace before? Oh, I don't think so. My place is certainly Hawaiian. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's what we like about it. <laughs> yeah, well, uh... <coughs> oh, why don't you show them the button thing? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's a real good idea. I was just going to do that. Oh, kids, wait till you see this. You flip, eh? Hey? <laughs> uh, since I've seen this already, I think I'll be shoving off. Oh, yeah, hey, uh... uh listen, uh... Thanks a lot, Lou. You set up a real good party. Yeah, a real good party, eh? <laughs> okay, so long. Uh, and uh, have fun. All right now, ladies. <laughs> Keep your eye right over there. Oh, get a load of this. Now, wait a minute, hold. First, uh, kind of shut your eyes till I tell you to open them, okay? Okay. Isn't that interesting? Oh, that's just beautiful. What a charming effect. <laughs> it looks so real, too. You ain't seen nothing yet. Now close your eyes again. Okay. Isn't that unique? <laughs> wow. Yeah, now, now for this next thing, you can keep your eyes open. Go ahead. What about the other button? Uh, no, no, let's skip it, huh? Let's have a little light on a subject, and let's all have a little drink. What do you say? I'm for that. You fix it. Me too. My pleasure, ladies. That's a rush. Look, you gotta be there to see the sea. Look, Lou, I'll be there. Now just relax, will you? Look, you got a half mile to swim, and I gotta get back to Quang. So go. Uh, not until you're in the water. Okay, okay. I'm off. Uh, have the coffee ready. Huh? Right, a fresh pot. Smithy from the table decoration. Oh, and then she shouted to her husband, Look, Clyde, around the island. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he said, Look, Clyde, this is a house. It's a house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you guess what this is, Clyde? It's the rain. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> The things you see at a bar, huh? And what did your husband do? You know, Clyde. He paid the bill and he snuck her out during the fire dance. <laughs> <laughs> I bet more people were watching her than a floor show. <laughs> You're right. Hey, I'm going to put something else on. Hey. Hey, I know I'd seen this girl someplace before. Don't worry about it, huh? <laughs> Come on, let's have a drink, huh? Come on. <laughs> Uh, got a lot of records, ain't he? Oh, sure. But they're all so corny. Yeah. Maybe you'll help us get some new ones. Tonight? No, no, but, uh, you know, sometimes before our next party, huh? Oh, sure. I'd be glad to. He got it. The customer only lived 10 minutes from here, no? Well, yeah. Well, I was helping a little old lady with her car. It's stuck. All day, same thing. Now you go. You go and come back back. Okay? Okay? Now what? Ha, <laughs> ha, 
talking about the girl on the beach remember shut up will you hugo i want you to dance with me and i won't take no for an answer oh i ain't much good at dancing oh, give me a chance i bring out natural talent now what the basic step goes something like this Oh, the fifth on the end of this. It's missing. Where is it? Well, I don't know. I've looked all over the car. Did you ever change the tires on this thing? I know. Gives them in the store. In there? Why? I use the finger weight. Don't worry. I'm fine. Right. <laughs> And you said you weren't a good dancer. <laughs> You're getting there, you go. Just keep it up. Yeah, as a dancer, you make a good bartender. How about it? Well, the music just stopped, eh? You deserve a rest. Let me be bartender for a while. Order, please. Uh, booze and bubbles. Easy on the bubbles. I'm fine. Finish it. I mean, we're all gonna have a fresh drink, right, kid? Oh, yeah, I want a new drink, too. Hey, that's right, everybody. Drink up. Hey, you want my recipe for screwdrivers? What is it? A jigger, a hooch, and juice to the top of the glass. That's how I make them. Then that's the way I'll make them. <laughs> Say, Kit, uh, why don't you show them the dance that knocked them out of the party last week? Oh, yeah. Hey, I want to show you two something. Come on. <laughs> now, you sit right there. Ha, ha, ha. They'll never believe this in Chicago. I have to take my shoes off. I can't dance with them, but... So... <laughs> On the island of Oahu, all the native boys are wahoo. In the one way, Wahini does a bird. Oh, in the one way, Wahini does a bird. Yeah, in the one way, Wahini does a bird. Now, that's the craziest thing you ever heard. When the one way, Wahini does a bird. It's a little like what you see with a slightly different twist. When the one way, Wahini does a bird. Oh, in the one way, Wahini does a bird. Oh, in the one way, Wahini does a bird. And that's the craziest thing you ever heard. When the one way, Wahini does a bird. Trampolines, don't it? 
stove with the whiskey bottle. <laughs> oh, no, it's great. Go find your clothes. Come on, hurry up. Okay. Brandy, come on. Hurry, hurry, Brandy. just seemed okay when I was there. Well, it was the liquor that did it. He kept on drinking, and the more he drank, he kept getting worse. He's a pretty good dancer, though. You know, he cut on pretty fast. He really did. Those bank clerks, the two pigeons, they made the headlines this morning. a little time to kill, why don't I just entertain everyone by reading this funny story. Machine gun wielding Charlie Rossi, high on the FBI's list of most wanted men, was shot and killed in a Palmer Point beach house last night after a 20-minute gun battle which saw patrolman Arthur Akita seriously wounded when his patrol car was riddled with bullets. A second gunman, Hugo Sokol, prime suspect in the infamous Patron Massacre, was taken without resistance as he lay unconscious from an apparently self-administered overdose of sleeping pills. It makes me sick, just to think how close we came. Trying to get rich quick, we almost got ourselves dead quick. What a disaster. Oh, it wasn't a disaster, Lou. No, that, that, that's not quite true. I mean, it's not as if we struck out or anything. Why, we, we can still divvy up the $23 as soon as they dry. Divvy up hell, we're gonna turn it in. All of it, if it's still there. It's there, it's gotta be there. Who would look for $100,000 in a trash can? <laughs> Well, when I get a chance to tell you, you won't believe it. You know, Sweeney, I kind of think we will. One way 